much without recording it. Uh, so, talk about challenges. Uh, I didn't think about this one, so I left my uh, camera charger uh, for my uh, DSLR back home. So, I can't charge my camera right now. I'm gonna go pick it up another day, but um, I couldn't record the process that I was working on. All that aside, I can't want to paint it because it's still all about painting. The point is that I'm supposed to paint and it ain't about whether y'all see me paint or not. It's the fact that I paint and I, you know, mm, 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 that I, I feel it, you know, but I just thought it would still be important that I record this process and get people insight on what it's like to, you know, put yourself through a challenge. So, uh, what we got here is I removed all the tape from the uh, outsides or whatever, and then uh, started putting, throwing in all my shadows. Uh, all my high, high contrast, so I did most of my high contrast areas and then some of my mid-tones. Uh, I, I kind of laid in there loosely uh, with these cool colors so that they stay receded and um, stay receding in the background. Uh, then I'm going to come back and now I'm going to come in here and start doing my, uh, start throwing in my, my yellows, my uh, well, my neutral colors actually, my, my neutral colors start bringing those skin tones into play. Uh, and then the actual color of the clothing, um, wine glass and wine, if you haven't noticed what that is. Uh, and then I'll be able to symbolize them. And so that's what I'm gonna work on today. Uh, probably just gonna, uh, cause again, I don't have my camera, so I use the same camera, so I'm probably just gonna uh, switch to time lapse and work from time lapse. And then you'll be able to just kind of see the, the expansion of that. Uh, so I got my setup here now because my computer's done with doing what it was doing. So I brought my computer to my reference. So I can use this to record, and then I can go back to my normals once I get my battery charger for my camera. So that's where we're at. This is day six. Keep up to date. Bang, bang, bang. I'm out of here. Welcome, we back. Uh, I did a lot, I think. Um, so, here we are, day seven. So day six, I was without this camera now. I've gone uh, to talk about challenges. My challenge today was to get uh, my charger for my battery for you, this camera, uh, so that I can start recording again with the camera. And, um, so that's what I've been, that's what I did. I went to do that, went to do that this morning and drive back down to Norfolk and come back about an hour each way. Um, and I got back and went to the crib, set back up, uh, grabbed a few other things that I thought about bringing back up, like some green paint because I'm surrounded by so much greenery here. Uh, and then I got to work on this. So I started adding some detail, added like another layer of color over the whole thing, and so the figure started to just pop out a lot more. I noticed that in this section that the leg was still a little too light, so it was like blending too much to the background. Uh, so this is another thing that I also have to do through here. I probably go through here and paint like the uh, highlight areas and leave the shadow as it is. Um, and so I just started adding in some detail to give a little bit more definition, so it started looking a lot better. So yeah, this is where I'm at. Paint is looking good. As you can see the eyes are just gotten uh, better. Uh, there's also some other symbols that have to come in or pull, that have to pull out that, you know, whatever hasn't happened yet. And right now we're working on the hair, so I'm about to get to that. Boom!
mason jar with uh, without prepping or cracking the seal. So because these things happen, um, you know, and, and paint is essentially just glue, especially acrylic paint is essentially just glue to powder. It uh, they tend to get you know stuck to the top a lot or stuck to the jar and uh twisted my wrist that much trying to get it it's agitated my wrist so i was having wrist problems all last night because of that um so it's just a little you know annoying i guess it's agitated like my grip strength and doing this kind of hurts a little bit so uh, it's not like it's stopping me from painting but it's just an annoying thing going on but you know if i'm painting for 30 days they might not have enough time to tighten or get so stuck to themselves where I won't have to worry about that as much. But my tool to open those has become this. So same thing as a paint thing, a paint can opener. Uh, I just use this to kind of crack the seal and open it up a little bit. It usually loosens up pretty good, but it sucks. All right, back to painting. Music. Bada boom! HM Bay here. This is day seven of my paint challenge. Uh, I did a lot today. Uh, went for a drive early in the morning, uh, then came back and started painting. Uh, had this image in my head all night. I'm glad I stopped where I stopped yesterday because I was able to come back to this with fresh energy, fresh mind, and I put in some heavy work on this. I, went, I just went and started, started hitting some detail. Um, just to start giving all the pop and pull, or push and pull that I needed, and that really took this piece, you know, to the next level. Oh, so good. And then I finished this one yesterday, right? You might have seen this one. So I finished this one yesterday, and boom, I go to this piece. So I've been working on this one, which is upside down. Uh, so I'm going to finish this one up today, prep another board or canvas for another similar shot. I'm going to you know, go through my images and see what I want to paint on that one. And, uh, and I'm just super excited, super amped. Uh, for one, from doing this experience during my Gloucester residency, which fell in, you know, in, in, in part with this challenge. I got another energy, so once this is over, it's pretty easy to get artwork done and, and paint every day. But once it is over and I get back home, I got to... You know, fit in schedule, work, all that. We'll see what happens. I'll probably paint a lot less or just be able to relate. So that's where I'm at day seven. Day probably probably pretty similar to day. So boom boom. We'll keep it going. Agent invade. Bye boom. We out of here. Just making noise and sound effects. That's what we do. <sighs> day eight. We are here. Um I don't think I'm gonna work on my large painting today. Uh when I got some more local paintings I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna work on this one, uh, which would be a landscape, waterscape, another one, landscape, waterscape piece. Um, that's an interesting uh, feature in it, I guess. And then I'm gonna work on another piece that I gotta prep, uh, a larger piece. It'll be fun, as vertical piece. If I seem a little low or tired, because I worked out this morning, so I gotta get my energy back up. Uh, but I just got a studio, so I wanted to get it in. Um, so yeah, it's that. Probably gonna run through these pretty quickly. Uh, or at least this one, actually. Uh, should be, I'm trying to like work on how, how easy I can simplify the process. So uh, after doing two of these, this one um, should go pretty quickly. I'm gonna like take out some of the reference image uh, so I can like keep it minimized and then try something new, so that's that, uh, about to get at it, so see you around.
Check it out, it's day nine, day nine challenge, day nine challenge. Uh, I haven't painted yet. It's like 12, almost one. It's like 1.30. Um, so this morning I had to do my interview uh, with Paige Jewelry down at Kelsey Market and Arts on Main, so it's on the main strip here in Gloucester. Um, and when I got back, I think I just did, like, either before I left or when I got back, I just wasn't feeling like painting or doing anything. I really just wanted to take a, take a day off. My body's sore from exercising and from running uh, back to the house from the studio before it started thundering and raining and lightning. Lightning. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little achy. And probably, probably from, like, doing this all day and doing, like, push-ups all day. So... I'm pushing through it though. Um, I'm in the studio now, so I'm gonna do that. Question: Does painting pictures with words count as painting? Cause I did do some rapping today. One two one two. <laughs> Please excuse my Dr. Seuss. Oh the melanin in my skin. Oh the sun rays all of him. Feeding me my vitamins. Align with my will to live. Whoa. But they weren't new raps, they were old raps. So that would be like exhibiting a painting that I already finished. So, but I recorded it though. So it was a different way of exhibiting it. Mm, I don't know. Either way, uh, I'm gonna finish this up and then this is probably all the painting I'm gonna do today. I might prep the other canvases and start looking at that stuff, but I wanna start prepping the, the new piece that I gotta start for the rest of this trip. So, um, see, so yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm pushing through it. This is like the first time I felt like not doing the work. So, I wanted to capture that moment, but I'm gonna make it through. And luckily, I tried to finish this before, like, like last night, like I, I was like painting this as there was lighting outside, so I, uh, yeah, I rushed through that, which I rushed through, I had to prep, but I got through it, and then I'm about to, uh, you know, tighten it up today, and then call it a day on this one, and that's that, so, you know, push through, day nine, uh, cool, challenge continues. What's up, y'all? I think I'm on day ten, I'm losing my mind, um, Still tired from like yesterday, uh, and this happened when I was on my last residency program when I was uh, in Cuba, where like five days in I got like worn out, and I'm not nearly as much humidity and heat, so it's definitely I think it's tied to being creatively active so consistently. Um, Mixed in with like me exercising out in this heat, I guess too. But I might be drinking my water, get my electrolytes. Yeah, the biggest challenge is what this kind of referring to is, is energy. Um, just waking up drained. But uh, I'm push through, and uh, this will be good. Cause it's like flexing that muscle and, 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 and you know ripping that muscle and then allowing it to heal. So that's part of the thing that I think I wanted to accomplish through this 30 day challenge was if I challenge myself to deal with the amount of like whatever comes, physical stress, mental stress, that is encompassing 30 days of trying to make sure that I create and paint on something or just create really this would be the idea that I'll, I'll you know, strengthen that muscle to make it even better and also like yesterday I realized how much easier my work can be if I just take a little bit extra time as far as um, the preparation so uh, also reference images just need to be your, the better the quality of reference image the easier it is to do what I need to do so um, working on this one was a lot easier because I went through the process to you know put to put the energy into it to make sure it was going to be what I wanted, uh, and I realized that I can get the as I like the flow I'm very gestural in my work and I like that flow, 
Um, and I tend to apply that at the earliest stages of my work, but I realize I can still get the same level of flow and energy expression after I've mapped out a plan. So I can be very like rigid in my processes and make sure I do things kind of on a step-by-step -step basis. But uh, if I'm a little bit more tedious on the, you know, the drawing or the, 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 the foundation of the work, then I can be that much more free, <coughs> free on the actual like applying of color and paint. So um, that's day ten's challenge. So uh, we'll see how that how that grows moving forward. Out of here. Alright, so boom. Uh, yeah, but I paint these blues. Maybe do about three layers of that. Um, potentially gonna add maybe some green in here, I don't know. Maybe some suggestion of land just to tie in uh, the, the Gloucester area and location that we're at. Um, but I like where it's going, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna like finesse this last part because this property's gonna only show up over here, but we'll see how it comes out. Alright, cool.